Hey, it's John W.E. from Command and Conquer Files again. In this episode, we're going to take a look at the Soviets. This is a four-way free-for-all. And I chose to build a power plant first. Why? I don't know. It was the warring thing to press. You should normally go with a barracks first, just so you can get your bears and engineers out there a little bit quicker. All the time in the world helps. So Soviets have a different build method. You click, and then you click to place, and then it starts building and deducting credits. Enemy engineer detected. So now it's time for fun with bears. Bears are a little bit stronger than dogs, but they can still kill in one hit. And they can swim, too. So, for example, they kill engineers really quickly. Also, that's their roar ability. It paralyzes enemy infantry in the radius, including bears and dogs, which makes the other ones easy to kill. Helps you to win those early fights. Fortunately, it has a long cooldown time. So I will send another bear over to the enemy's tech oil derrick, or whatever they call it now. Just so that if they get an engineer close there, alone, unguarded, that it's not going to succeed in its mission. But in this case, he sees me heading out with that. So he sends a couple of his bears after me. Enemy engineer detected. Training. So, luckily I have the roar ability. So I paralyze the one. I go to attack it. I decide maybe it's better to attack the other one first. And then attack the one that can't attack me back. I bet he's pretty pleased about that turn of events. Now he built a sentry gun over here, so I can't go straight into his base. That would be rather bad to my bears. I mean, my terror drones. Luckily, in this terror drones can swim. How does a mechanical metal creature swim? I really don't know. but I will use it to my advantage. So, the Soviet ore miners are good targets for this. So I have one of my terror drones using his secondary ability. It disables the enemy vehicle, holds it in place, while the other one got inside of it and is disabling it. And I see he's building another sentry turret, but it's too late, the terror drone's already inside. So, I heard a man cannon over here. Two engineers coming down into my base. So we get to see flak troopers attacking the air. And then when they reach the ground, sickles with their tremendous anti-infantry capabilities finish them off. Now Robster, the guy in blue, decides to sell a couple of buildings just because he doesn't have any source of income right now, which is a problem. Now Soviets tech up a little bit differently. They have the super power plant, which unlocks the tier 2 units, and then the battle lab, which unlocks the tier 3. So I still don't want to rush in here yet, just because of the sentry gun. I don't have any units that are good against... So now you see those dollar signs above the heads of my conscripts. That means one of the enemies has the ability... When they are killed, they give him money. That's the same power that I pulled up. Now what I just did, I sent a Sputnik out. It's the unit that turns into the outpost, so it, it creates build radius around it. So I send that out, then I start building a super power plant. Training. Construction 
Construction complete. Something needs fixing. Construction complete. Tools ready. Moving. Now I try to get the engineer over to his base, but Enemy units detected. it isn't all that effective. Construction complete. New construction options. Engineers in boats are very, very, very slow. That's probably a good thing. Training. But they do capture instantly. That's also a very good thing. So I see the bear. I should have turned back then. Yes, but then it's too late. And now I have a little issue with the controls and the left mouse button setup not working properly yet. But don't worry, they'll fix it. Supposedly. Now my tier 2, I can start building a couple tanks here. Construction complete. Who's looking for a good pounding? Yeah, just like I apologize, that. this game is a bit slower. Just because I have to defend my base since it's a four-way free-for-all. I can't go charging in and leave my base undefended. Who's looking for a good pounding? Nailed them. Seek patrol. Orders, comrade? Keep the goods coming. Now he used his roar on my bear and killed it. I've got my three tanks, that's enough to take out his sentry turret without any fare. And he's got a couple of flak troopers which are good against vehicles, unlike in Red Alert 2. I'm not sure how they're good against vehicles, but they aren't really good against the sickles with their humongous machine guns. Then there's the sickle jump pretty much kills the guys that it lands on top of. Now a useful ability about the hammer tank is that red beam there is actually leeching health off of the barracks and giving it back to the hammer tank. Now if it were to leech a unit and kill the unit, it would get the unit's weapon. So you can sort of upgrade the hammer tanks like you'd upgrade an avatar or a scorpion tank gets an extra rocket. Now it looks like Blue has left the mainland, taking his MCV offshore. And to tell you the truth in this map, it's a good thing to do. Because there are four total ore spots on land, and then there are an extra three for each corner of the map on the other sides. And when you don't have naval, then you can only control 25% of the resources on the map. That's not very much. So now I have a problem, seeing as I don't have any anti-naval, anti-submarine things. I've got to go ahead and retreat. So it's green that's attacking me now. Whose name I don't remember. Enemy base detected. Enemy aircraft detected. So I figure I can at least go take out green on land before he takes me out on water. A unit is under attack. Our base is under now he has a couple of helicopters in here, which is why I have the flak troopers. Now once again, the tank that's getting damaged 